Why do Japanese people hate beards? Thus, the public's idea of beard equals bravery disappeared. Many people end up choosing not to grow beards because they may miss out on business opportunities. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. There are quite a lot of videos that mention how most Japanese people hate beards. Because of this, I receive a lot of DMs asking me, should I shave before going to Japan? But since when have Japanese people been uncomfortable with beards and why? Are we even uncomfortable with beards in the first place? So today, I will first explain the history of beards in Japan. Next, based on this history, I will discuss three main reasons why Japanese people dislike beards. By watching this video, you can understand that the idea of Japanese people disliking beards may actually be a little bit inaccurate. If there's anything else about the Japanese way of thinking that you find puzzling, please let me know in the comments. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel in Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Then, let's begin by unraveling the history of beards in Japan. 1. Beards of bravery for warlords. 2. Beards of barbarians. 3. Beards of authority. 1. Beards of bravery for warlords. It is said that beards came to be praised as a symbol of masculinity during the Sengoku War era. If you look at portraits of any warlord, you will usually see that he has a fine beard. It is said that the beard was almost like a tool for the warlords to show their bravery and valor. In this era, not having a beard would have you be mocked at as being feminine. And those who had thin beards would even wear fake beards. As a side note, a famous warlord who suffered from a thin beard is Toyotomi Hideyoshi. He was famously nicknamed Monkey by his lord, Oda Nobunaga. But Nobunaga also called Hideyoshi Bald Rat because of his thin beard. For Hideyoshi, this was a huge embarrassment. It is said that he even went to the trouble of having his portrait painted with a fake beard added. This is how much not having a fine beard was shameful for the samurai. 2. Beards of Barbarians The beard, which was a symbol of strength for the warlords during the Sengoku War era, was treated quite differently in the following peaceful Edo period. Surprisingly, in 1670, a law called the Great Beard Ban was issued, making it legal to grow a beard. How did such a major change happen? In fact, the Edo shogunate did not ban beards from the beginning. With the end of the civil war, the need to express bravery disappeared, and the culture of beards gradually declined. But it still remained as a kind of fashion among the people. The reason why it had to be banned was due to the existence of a barbaric group of men called Kabukimono. They were low-status, poor people who fought as Ashigaru foot soldiers under the samurai during the Sengoku era. They stood out in public, dressing in eccentric fashions and wearing large beards. The street performances they did to earn money became the foundation of Kabuki, a traditional stage art form that continues even to this day. But the problem was, they also got into all sorts of trouble, including gambling and tsujikiri. In order to correct public morals, the shogunate banned beards, which was also a symbol of the kabukimono. Thus, the public's idea of beard equals bravery disappeared, and a new value of beard equals savage was born. 3. Beard of Authority However, there was a time in Japanese history when beards regained their popularity. It was during the Meiji Restoration. Japanese began to grow beards again, imitating the bearded appearance of many men in highly civilized Western countries. A major trigger was when Emperor Meiji cut his hair, grew a beard, and changed into Western clothing. Photos of famous politicians of the Meiji period show that many of them had quite large and fine beards. 
Thus, the beard was revived as a symbol of civilization and authority. This is how the beard culture changed its meaning to the display of bravery, to a sign of vulgarity, and to a symbol of authority. However, today, it is recognized as a sign of sloppiness. What happened? Then, let us now explore the answer to today's main question. Why do Japanese people hate beards? According to one survey, 82.8% of more than 500 women up to their 30s dislike stubble beards. In addition, most companies in Japan prohibit the wearing of beards as a rule of appearance. Due to this, hair removal has become very popular among Japanese men recently. And the sense that superior men equals no unnecessary hair is spreading more and more. From what I've studied, there are three possible reasons for this. One, beards don't suit Japanese men. Two, there is a barbaric image. Three, it is important to be humble in a business setting. The first reason is horribly simple. Japanese have flat faces compared to Westerners. Many of us do not have clear eyes and noses, which makes beards unsuitable for our faces. And also, the hair that grows is also thin, so it does not grow firmly enough to be shaped. In fact, when I tried to grow a beard, the longest I got was a mere 5 centimeter beard under my nose and a mustache on the tip of my chin. The second reason is a remnant of the history I introduced earlier. Just as beards were restricted as barbaric during the Edo period, beards seem to be viewed negatively in times of peace without ongoing wars like now. However, there is one thing that we must make clear, is that the style of beards that many Japanese dislike is a stubble one, which is an untidy beard only. In fact, many popular Japanese actors and sportsmen have beards, and they are beloved and have many fans. It's because their beards are properly trimmed and tidy. In other words, Japanese do not like beards is not entirely true. Strictly speaking, Japanese do not like stubble beards. However, unlike English, all facial hair is usually referred to by just one word in Japanese, hige, which is why this confusion happens. Finally, there is a reason why beards are frowned upon in the business world. That is because, as I explained earlier in the history part, there was a time when beards were seen as a symbol of authority. In other words, many companies seem to think that by growing a beard, one is lacking in modesty. However, no matter how much a company may define no beards as a rule, it has no legal binding force. There are many examples of workers winning trials against our companies about this matter and winning their freedom of growing a beard if they wanted to. However, even if you could win a court against the company, the fact remains that there are many businessmen who are uncomfortable with people who wear beards. Many people end up choosing not to grow beards because they may miss out on business opportunities. In conclusion, Japanese women do not like beards because most Japanese men do not look good growing them. And because when people think of beards, they automatically imagine the untidy stubble beards. And the reason why beards are frowned upon in business is because of the idea that one should appear more humble in front of clients and customers. However, there are countless successful Japanese with well-groomed beards even today. Ultimately, it depends on how the individual wants to present himself to society. Then lastly, today's conclusion. Historically, beards in Japan mainly had the following three meanings. One, beards of bravery for warlords during the Sengoku War era. Two, beards of barbarians during the Edo period. Three, beard of authority during the Meiji period. There are three possible reasons for why Japanese hate beards. One, beards doesn't suit Japanese men. Two, there is a barbaric image. Three, it is important to be humble in a business setting. However, we need to keep in mind that the style of beards which many Japanese dislike is a stubble beard only, which is an untidy one. There are countless successful Japanese with well-groomed beards even today, and ultimately, it depends on how the individual wants to present himself to society. 
So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards the values of Japanese people, please hit the like button to help me boost this video to more people. And our goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And please check out our sub channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Another question I often receive from DMs is about will I be able to find a job in Japan if I have a beer mustache? But um, as I explained in today's video, there are no companies that can force you to remove your beard or mustache. But uh, before you get a job, of course, if you go to a job interview with a beard or mustache, I mean, there are some companies I'm pretty sure that will accept you. But um, from my image, I would say most people will probably um, shave before they take part in such um, job interviews and such. So I can't be 100% sure. It does, really does depend on which industry or which company you go to. Mm -hmm. But I, I would definitely say that your um, opportunities, I guess, or the number of companies that you can apply to will definitely lessen and decrease. So um, I guess you would have to, to choose which industry or which company you want to go to that allows you with a mustache and a beard.